and I wanted to do a video today talking about some of my pre-workouts that I'm taking right now and how I use them. A lot of people take pre-workouts. Um, I've done some different things with them in the past. So to talk about what I'm currently doing, right now I basically train after work during the weeknights. Um, and on the weekend, I train first thing in the morning. So during the week, I work a Monday through Friday job. I do not take any kind of pre-workout. Um, I get up, I go to work. I love caffeine. I am a caffeine addict. I have been ever since college. So I'm not super sensitive to stimulants. Um, so during the week, I just have coffee during the day at work. And then I train after work, which is very difficult. I need to get myself back to training first thing in the morning, which sometimes having a pre-workout is what got me to roll my ass out of bed in the morning, was knowing I got my delicious little pre-workout. But anyways, right now, Monday through Friday, I'm not taking any pre-workouts. I just have some coffee, train in the evening. Saturdays, um, I sleep till whenever. I get up and I usually do take a pre-workout to go train. So I'm kind of rotating through a few different things right now. I thought I'd share with you guys um, what I like to take. So one of the things I will say is if you're a pre-workout person, I think it is helpful to rotate what pre-workouts you're taking. You know, even if you took Pump HD, you know, all the time, you do get used to this stuff. I mean, all of it's addictive. It's your body gets used to it. So if you kind of rotate and switch up what things you're using, I think your body won't get as used to it. The other thing too with pre-workouts, you obviously want to cycle them. You don't want to be, what I mean by that is you don't want to take a pre-workout for 365 days a year. You can, some people do, um, and that's, that's all good and fine, but you're going to lose your sensitivity to it. So, you know, a lot of times, um, I don't necessarily cycle because I only take them once, maybe twice a week, but when I was taking them continuously, it's good to take like a week or two off after you've been on them for two months or so, just to kind of give your body a break from it. And that kind of kick starts when you try it again, you don't have to go, you don't have to have as many scoops because you're not as sensitive to. So that's just my tip. Don't take them all the time every single day. Um, like I said, right now I just take it once, twice maybe tops a week. So what I'm enjoying right now Here's the three I'm rotating through. I really like MTS Clash. As you guys know, I'm a sponsored athlete, but I really do like Clash. Um, he just came out with the pink lemonade, which is so delicious. The, lem the plain lemonade flavor, it doesn't, flavor-wise, it's meh for me, but I don't typically take pre-workouts because of the way they taste. I like to take them because how they make me feel. So taste for me isn't like a huge influencer of if I'm going to buy a pre-workout or not. It's how it affects me and how my performance is in the gym. Clash, I like a lot because it's not overstimulating. Like I actually do like to chase it with a cup of gel or something, but I feel very strong usually when I work out and take this. So I do like having this on Saturdays when I'm going to lift legs and have a, you know, heavy workout. Um, I feel like I have a lot of strength when I'm on this. Whereas some pre-workouts just make me feel like super spazzy and like, woohoo, but I don't necessarily feel stronger in the gym. Sometimes I'm too overstimulated where certain pre-workouts I've taken actually make me feel too sick. It's just too much for me. I feel overstimulated and then I feel like crap, like I'm gonna throw up or something, which isn't good either. So this I really like. I do take two scoops of this and the pink lemonade, best flavor. I would definitely recommend the pink lemonade for Clash. So this is awesome to feel nice and strong in the gym. The other two I'm also liking, one on our Vortex. This stuff is amazing as well. I really, really like this stuff um, for working out. And I'm not gonna lie, I've taken this on occasion when I know I've got a busy day at work, um, when I know I've got a lot to do and I need to be productive, I need to be focused, I need to Maybe I have a, a report to give in front of administration, so I want to be able to vocalize things well and sound good and be confident. This is, this is my jam for that. Vortex is really good. You don't need a lot of it. Um, I can take up to two scoops of it. Again, I'm not sensitive, but what I'll do is sometimes fill up a shaker cup and I'll just sip it. I'll do two scoops and I might just drink half of it 
And usually with one scoop of this stuff, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. I'm in a good mood. Um, I'm feeling productive and motivated. So I really like the way this makes me feel in terms of that. So I have taken it on occasion for a day. I just need to be super productive and get stuff done. But I do like it for my workouts as well. Um, I believe this one is higher in caffeine. Um, I can't remember, is it? Maybe not. It's hard for me to tell because I'm used to drinking coffee. So even when I take pre-workouts, I still feel like I need to have a little cup of coffee or else I get a little caffeine headache. It's just, it's different for me. Um, but you do have to be careful with that stuff. So Vortex Fruit Punch flavor. Um, this tastes pretty good as well. It doesn't have um, the mixability on these two products is not as good, but again, do you buy pre-workouts for mixability? I don't know. I personally don't. It's how it makes me feel. Um, Clash mixes very well. This one, not so much. You get the little granule pieces in there, but that's okay. So this, I recommend it for, you know, for training. It's excellent. Or if you just have a day, you know, you've got a million things to do. This will help you run all day long. Um, this also helps kill my appetite too. So depending on what my macros are for the day, where you are in your diet, sometimes having a pre-workout is nice because it helps, you know, helps make it a little easier if you're cutting. You know, you're on your diet, you don't have a, a lot, you know, you can eat throughout the day. It's nice to not be a bottomless pit. So pre-workouts are always very helpful for that. Um, BPI also makes the other one I use, Pump HD. This is Blue Ice Lemonade. That again has a nice flavor, but same company, again, same issues with mixability. Anyways, who cares? But this one, the flavor is good though. Um, trying to think if I really notice a huge difference. I don't think the Pump HD makes me feel as awesome as these two do. This is probably my least favorite out of the three you see here. I probably rotate more between these two. But Pump HD works very well too. It's hit and miss for me. I've taken this sometimes and had an amazing workout where I feel very strong. And other times it gets me going, but I don't necessarily feel the strength that I might feel from these other two pre-workouts. Um, but yeah, these are the three I'm rotating through right now. Um, you can pretty much find those three at tigerfitness.com. You can use my link if you'd like to purchase any of these. Um, I normally have a bigger stash of pre-workouts, but just taking them on the weekend, I haven't been trying as many. I really would like to take the new pre-workout that Chris and Vince have out right now, the pre-OG. Um, heard that's pretty good. If you guys have tried it, leave me a comment. Let me know how you like it. I plan to add that one into my rotation next. Um, and that's about it. So yes, I do like pre-workouts. I take them occasionally. And I also do like a good cup of coffee to keep me going. So um, that's it. Do what works for you guys. You know, if you hate pre-workouts, then don't take them. I don't care, you know, but for me, I do like to have them. It makes working out fun. You usually have a really good workout and you're usually really productive. So throw them in the mix once in a while if you feel like it. Uh, that's about it for right now, guys. Hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a like and keep checking back.